G'day and welcome to another video. In today's lesson we're going to learn how to make this hat. It is used the cluster V stitch, what's what I call the cluster V stitch. It's very easy to do. You're using a double crochet and you will also need to know how to do a half double crochet for the last row of the hat. So let's just zoom in and look at the pattern on the hat. It's very easy and I'll walk you step by step on how to make it. So let's get started on the lesson. So first of all, what we need to do is follow this video and make the crown of our hat. Now depending on who you're making it for, if it's an adult versus a child, you're going to need the crown of your hat a different size. So what I do is I follow that video and I keep increasing until I have the measurement that I need for my hat. Now this one is going to be for a head that is about 40 centimetres or nearly 16 inches. So what you're going to do is lay your crown of your hat flat. Let me just adjust the camera. Grab your tape measure. Put it on your measurement that you need lay the hat flat and a measure around the outside. Now I've already measured this so I know it's right. So if that's the measurement of the head that you need you're going to get it so it's just a little bit smaller, only slightly smaller than that measurement because your hat will stretch. If it's for a child that is still going to grow you can make it for that head measurement and that way they can have a little bit of growing room as well. So I know that's big enough to fit there. If it was for an adult, you might have, I don't know, say 58, 56 centimetres for an adult size head. You'll keep increasing until you have just a bit smaller than that measurement around the outside. And then you'll continue on with the pattern. I'm using 8 ply yarn. I'm using Panda Magnum Soft 8 ply. It is beautiful this yarn, I really like it. And I'm going to be using this adorable hook. It is a 4.5 millimeter hook or a size G. This hook has been supplied by Moon Shadow Threads. I will put the link in the description box below and you can check her out on Facebook. And this hook is really nice to work with too by the way. And the clay handle is, is, I thought it would be heavy, but it's not. It's, it's reasonably light, which is nice to work with too. So what we need to do is chain up three. And we're going to double crochet back down into the stitch. We're going to go into this stitch. Wait a minute. We're going to go into that stitch. Let's just zoom in a bit. So double crocheting back into the same stitch. Then we're going to chain one. Now this bit is just worked like that, but the next bit is worked a little different. What we're going to do is do a double crochet cluster. And in the cluster, there's only going to be two double crochets. Normally, there's a lot more. But in this one, we only work two. But it's also worked the same as a double crochet decrease. Okay, but I'm calling this a cluster because that's what it is as well. So you're going back into the same stitch. You're going to work a double crochet, but we're not going to go all the way. So we've got three loops. Pull through, and you've got two. Normally you'd pull through two again, but you're going to leave these two on the hook. We're going to yarn over, go back into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through two. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through all three. There we go. We're going to skip two stitches. In the next one, we're going to yarn over and work 
the double crochet cluster. So it's yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two, leave those two on the hook, yarn over, go into the next stitch, uh, sorry, same stitch, yarn over pull up a loop, you've got four, yarn over pull through two, and now yarn over and pull through three. We're going to work a chain one, yarn over, go into this loop, into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, leave these two on the hook, we're going to go into the same stitch, yarn over, go in the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through three. And that is the cluster V stitch. Well, that's what I'm calling it. So when we come back around the next row, we work in between the gap here, in the chain one space. So we're going to skip two, go to the next stitch, yarn over, go in the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, you've got two loops on your hook, yarn over, go into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, Making sure you get it all. There we go. And yarn over. Oh, wait a minute. Yep, yarn over and pull through all three. Chain one. Yarn over, go into the same stitch you've worked these stitches here into. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Keep these two on the hook. Go into the same stitch. Pull up a loop. Now, hopefully you've got that by now. If not, just um, rewind the video and just repeat what I tell you to do there. So we're going to work, we're going to skip two stitches and we're going to work a cluster V in the next stitch. So skip one, two in the next stitch. And work your cluster V. You're going to chain one. Work another cluster V in the same stitch. Going to skip two and then the third stitch. Work another cluster V. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. So skip two stitches, work your cluster V stitch, which is the two funny double crochets, chain one, and then two funny double crochets. So this is what it starts to look like. We're going to repeat this all the way around. We'll do one more. So skip one, two, into the next one. It's all worked into the same stitch, chain one. Okay, so repeat this all the way around until we get back to the beginning. So when we get around here, we're going to skip. And now if you haven't got enough stitches left, it doesn't matter because you can fudge it up and no one's going to even notice. Only you will know that that must, that's not a mistake, you just mine extra stitch. So we're going to skip one, two and work into that one. Because it's only a one stitch difference, trust me, you can't tell. If you wanted to get really anal, you can leave one of the stitches out on the previous row. And then we are going to join with a slip stitch. Now normally you'd join to your chain three, but I like to join in that next double crochet because I found that, so I'm going to skip the chain three go to the double crochet which is there and join with a slip stitch. I found that if I didn't this gap became really big and you could really notice that was where your join was and it just didn't look very nice at all. So looking at that there you cannot tell that you don't have that one stitch there so that's why I like crochet, it's very forgiving 
So what we're going to do is slip stitch across. And I'm actually making this hat for a friend of mine. She's just had a baby, so just making a little hat. So chain up three. We're going to go into this stitch. Now, did I tell you to slip stitch across there? I'm too busy talking about babies. So what I did, just in case I didn't, I'll just show you. We slip stitch to join. And then what we're going to do is slip stitch into that chain one space there. There we go, chain up three, yarn over. We're going to work from now on in every stitch that we go around and every row, we work into the chain one space. So the chain one space is in between the little two funny stitches that we did there. This is your chain one space. So we're going to work a double crochet. And like I said before, just these first two stitches of each row is different because we can't work. This is a chain up bit, it's not a proper stitch so it doesn't work out properly. So chain one, go back into the same space and do your double crochet cluster. We're going to find the next cluster V, find the chain one space which is in between so it's not here because that's just the space in between our cluster V's. This is the cluster V the chain one space here is what you need. So working into there for a cluster V stitch. We're going to work around. So we're going into the next chain one space so you're skipping that space there, going into the chain one space. Now, depending on what size hat you are working with, is what you is how many rows you're going to need, or how many rows of increase that you made. I will put in Best Country Cottage. They have excellent size charts. I use those all the time for the um, circumference. The lens on hers is made when you add a brim. So if you're not going to add a brim a fold up brim you need to take an inch or so off it'll t it tells you at the top of the page what how they work it out so make sure you only take the measurement without the brim if you're not using one so we're just going in every chain one space we're working our cluster V now I can't think what the height of this hat is, but you can go off the Bears Country Cottage chart and that will show you heights that you need to make. It's a really good chart, I've been using that for years and I recommend it a lot on my Facebook page too. So if you're not on our Facebook page, go over there and check out the excitement that we have going on over there. Plenty of people, over 10,000 fans in that excellent community that we've got. It's great to show off what you've been making as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to go all the way around. And then we're going to meet back up when we get to here. So we're coming to the end of the row. And remember how I said I like to join into that second stitch. Here's our chain three. Normally you would join up here. I like to join into the top of the double crochet. So doing a slip stitch. I just find that it pulls that gap in. You'll get to see what I mean now. See how there's these holes or spaces in between, little spaces. When I uh, slip stitch that first lot of chains instead of the double crochet this hole was huge and it was really noticeable and I didn't like it so I think that looks a lot neater isn't it cute it's turning out really cute so keep going for the amount of rows that you need use best come to cottage if chart if you don't know how many you need if you do keep going 
and then I'll catch up and sometimes I don't use a border at all and then other times I'll add one row of uh, single crochet or half double crochet just to make a little cute border there but you can mix it up however you like and I'll see you when I've done my amount of rows I need to do till then happy crochet and I'll see you soon now the measurements of my hat are nineteen across so if it was twenty it'd be forty circumference so it's about thirty eight but this hat stretches so it will fit a forty centimeter head and the height of the hat from the top to the bottom is about fourteen and a half centimeters so about five and a half inches the other measurement was about 19 to 20 so it's about 8 inches so we're just going to add the last row don't pull too tight on this row because otherwise it's going to make your hat smaller so I did I'm using 8 ply which is equivalent to sports weight yarn or DK 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows of the cluster V so let's continue on with the border and excuse that blue thing on my finger that's um, food dye <laughs> experimenting with jelly at the moment don't ask <laughs> it's for a party so chain one and half double crochet into that space half double crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into that stitch half double crochet into the chain one space half double crochet into there so it's the top of the cluster V of each little section of the cluster V so onto the next cluster V it's into the top there so it's here We're going to go into the chain one space and into the other part of the cluster V. And we're just going to work all the way around. Now, depending on how many rows of cluster V you did and how long you need your hat, you can work as many rows as you want of the half double crochet. But I'm only going to use one. And I'm going to go check my measurements and make sure I don't need to add any more. That's all we're doing. We're just adding that border. Now hat. Oops. That's what our hat is looking like with the border on there. So I'm going to finish this off and then we'll continue when we get to the end. So <coughs> excuse me. We have just gone into our last stitch and then we're going to slip stitch to the first half double crochet going under both loops and then joining with our slip stitch so the next row you would chain up if you need to add more rows, I haven't checked to see if I need to yet you chain up one and with a half double crochet row or a single crochet row I don't normally count that chain as a stitch because it's really that small you can't even see it so what we would do is go into the next available stitch with a half double crochet what we do is we just go around in, the, in each stitch going under both loops if you like you can go under the back loop or the front loop it will give you a different look to your brim and then you come around and slip stitch again to there so I'm going to go check my measurements and see what we need and then we'll show you the hat when it's finished so I only needed to do one row when we get to the end you want to slip stitch to join I've already done that because I've finished that row we're going to do one chain then we are going to cut off our yarn and my scissors have disappeared oh, found them did hate it when that happens? okie dokie, so we are going to trim our yarn 
you know, why cut out the bloopers? May as well leave them in there so you can have a laugh at them as we crochet along. And then just pull out our stitching there. You're going to sew in your ends. You may have one on the inside where we started off. You may not if you crochet over your ends. So there we go, there's my hat finished. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe as there will be plenty more to come. I'm not going to be stopping videos anytime soon, that's for sure. I really love making them. And if you're not a fan of our Facebook page or our Ravelry page, make sure you go and check it out. Lots of people over there that can help you out if you ever get stuck on a pattern. And also if you get stuck on one of my patterns, um, a lot of people have made them, so there's other people that can help you out as well. Like I said, thanks for watching guys, and until we meet again, happy crochet.